is that Mike Pompeo I hear on uh, <laughs> uh, Secular Radio today? It is, uh, but more importantly, it's, he's not just on as a guest, but he is joining the ACLJ as part of the team. Uh, so former Secretary of State, former CIA Director and Congressman uh, Mike Pompeo has, is joining the ACLJ as Senior Counsel for Global Affairs, so he'll be on the broadcast regularly, providing his insight into what is going on around the world how it affects us domestically. So, again, as you know, we've been building out this team. We added Rick Rennell. We've added now Mike Pompeo to the ACLJ team. Uh, you're going to see, of course, through our broadcast, I think that is important, through our broadcast, this will be the public side of of what they're bringing to the table for our organization. And then there's the work that they will be able to assist with for around the world that we know we're going to be facing under the Biden administration. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna, well, there's going to be a lot of issues. You know, one of the things when we were talking before we went on the air, I... I mentioned that when we've had issues of the persecuted church, uh, when uh, when you were Secretary of State and President Trump was in office, uh, we had tremendous success in getting releases, and we also had a, a friendly audience. That, unfortunately, has not been the case in the past. I'll never forget this. One of our clients, Saeed Abedini, who was in jail in Iran, you remember this one, yes, got out under the uh, Obama administration only because of the $1.9 billion. Yes. The first thing he asked me when he got free, now he's an American. He was Iranian, you know, born yeah, in Iran. First thing he asked me when he got out is, why in the world did the United States pay $1.9 billion? Why didn't you just say he's an American and let him go? And that, that's the, I, I yeah. think, the irony of all of this. Uh, but, you know, we're in a new regime now, and we got to deal with, with those factors. But Secretary's been with us before. That's, we that's should go right. back in a little history back. here. It's time in Congress as well. He immediately was someone who was a regular on Jay Secchio Live on the radio broadcast. Uh, this is probably back, what is it, 20, 2012? 2012. 2012. 2012. Uh, when it was Congressman Pompeo on Jay Secchio Live. On Take the economy. Listen. You look at the economic situation right now, and despite the fact that President Obama continues to say what a bad mess he inherited, the reality is four years into it, their plan has not worked. I mean, if we're just going to be blunt, the plan has not worked. How do you think this play, and you know, how's this playing in Kansas? I mean, basically, what is the sense you're getting from your constituents about the economic situation we find ourselves in? Kansas has, has suffered just like the rest of the country has these three and a half years. Uh, it, it's absolutely the case that uh, when this president came into office, uh, there were some real challenges. Um, but that doesn't allow you to make it worse. That doesn't allow you to put a set of policies in place that continue to spend a trillion dollars a year more than you take in, that have led to 8% unemployment for now 40-plus months consecutively. You know, I, I wanted to play that because I just wanted to show that uh, for those that are, are new to our broadcast or have been listening to us for a long time, uh, Secretary Pompeo is is, an, is not a new voice in one sense because when he was in Congress, uh, he was often on our program and we worked very closely. And now, of course, he became the director of the CIA and then uh, ultimately the Secretary of State. So it is, it's great. And as we start this half of the broadcast off, welcome you here. We're thrilled you're here. My goodness, you it's, wonderful, it's wonderful to still be with you. You all have been most gracious to me for my entire time in public service. And uh, it's important work that's done here, and I'm glad to be a small part of it. Oh, we appreciate that. When we come back from the break, we're going to get into – I want to follow up. We, in the first half hour, we talked about um, Iran and Israel. I want to get into the Abraham Accords. That was a big, big moment. The Golan Heights, another big moment. Uh, the moving of the embassy to Jerusalem. All of those uh, very, very significant issues. We'll get into all of those. Yeah, let me encourage people, too. Uh, you know, if you're watching this – Online, you know, if you're on Facebook, if you're on YouTube, I know we're talking to all of our thousand plus radio stations and Sirius XM as well live. But if you're watching this, I'd encourage you because it's unique that uh, the Secretary of State uh, Pompeo is in the studio with us today. Uh, so he's going to be joining us in the future. Sometimes he'll be joining by Skype and other different ways. But this is a great show to share with your friends and family. So click that share button right now. As always, go to aclj.org. There'll be new pieces up by uh, former Secretary of State Pompeo as well now that he is with the ACLJ as Senior Counsel for Global Affairs. So click that share button. Bring your family. Let them know about this. This is the first day we're announcing this. You're getting the, this news first uh, live on the air. And as always, we encourage you to go to aclj.org. That's aclj.org. 